So, should I go back to demo trading when I've had yes, a you loser? should, Ali. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I must, yes. Um, I love this question because it's, it's one that's come in and it's one I've heard year after year after year. Should I basically, when, I'm, when, the tra when it's not working out for me, should I ditch trading with real money and go back to demo trading? And for me, there's, there's two answers to this. If you are losing money because you are over leveraging, doing everything wrong, you're not using stops, you're breaking every rule in the book, then it's probably not the time for you to even have started trading with real money. There's issues that need to be looked at there. But ultimately, if you're, you have a system, you're managing risk effectively, no, you shouldn't go back to demo trading because losing is part of trading. And I think what happens is people don't like it and they feel like they're doing something wrong and they've got to go back to demo trading and perfect their system or change their system or optimize what they're doing. When in fact, what they've got to do is get used to the feeling of losing money. Yeah, it's just fear, isn't it? And so uh, that's a fear-based trader. You've got people who have a predisposition in trading based on their personality type of either they, they get into trading and they're either fear-based or they're greed-based. And so and that's, there's nothing wrong with, with that. It's just a case of recognizing it. So that person, rather than spending time going back into demo account trading, spend the time working on their mindset and developing their mindset towards um, losing periods and whatever um, because every trader has losing periods it where the, the only thing that's different for someone who's newer is that they don't have the they don't have that back catalog of losing periods so see it as oh I'm building my first back catalog of a drawdown here it is a, a valid learning experience if you just go back to demo account trading everywhere every time you'll get nowhere you exactly will be doing the same thing in 10 years time so yeah it's building, it's building emotional muscle. It's, if, if it is early days for this trader, and we don't know, but if it is early days, then those, those losing runs are gonna be more painful than in five years time. So if you can reframe it like you've said and say this is, I'm just building my emotional muscle because this is gonna happen again. I'm gonna go through multiple drawdowns over the next five to 10 years. And I always say to traders in the early days, you, do you plan to be doing this for six months or do you plan to be doing this for at least the next 10 years? And traders always say they're gonna do it for the next 10 years. Okay, well you've got to expect what has happened in the, the last six month window or one year window to repeat itself. You're gonna have multiple drawdowns. So just see it as a way of building, building the emotional muscle. And over time, once you've got that frame of reference, losing runs will get easier. They get easier as far as your reaction to the uh, losing run. Um, I think people a lot of the time assume that the more experience they have, the, the smaller the losing runs. And it's just no. not true. If anything, it, gets, it can, can actually get bigger because, you, because actually you deal with losses so much easier that you're not so bothered about loss, uh, losing trades. And as you get uh, more experience, you end up, a lot of traders, not everyone, but looking for those bigger risk reward ratio trades. And so with that, by default, usually ends up with a low, lower success rate. But the more experienced people will uh, are, will deal with that so much better. So it's uh, yeah, dealing with uh, losing runs. Don't think that oh, once I'm five years in, I, they won't happen to me yeah. because they do. Um, I was twenty odd years into my trading before I had my worst drawdown. It took twenty years, you know, to to then go and have a, you know, a six, eight month drawdown period. And that was about uh, five years ago. So it can happen and it will happen at any time. So don't think that you're, it's never gonna happen again. Like you said, over the next 10 years, I'm gonna have frequent drawdowns. And what's more important is how I deal with them. <music>